What is good, y'all? Welcome back. Oh, well, I guess not welcome back. Welcome to the first episode of uh, the K-Reviews podcast. Um, yeah, man. So this is a review of Magic 2 by Nas and Hitboy. I I have a all Nas vinyl wall right now behind me in honor of uh, this review. I'm not going to be able to do this for every artist, obviously, but... Um, for Nas, I had enough albums in my vinyl collection to be able to do this. So, yeah, pretty pretty sick. General thoughts on this album. I I really enjoyed this. Um, initially, on my first listen, I was hesitant of it. I didn't, you know, I didn't know if I was going to enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed the other stuff that they've done in their discography or that they've done on this on this five album run to this point. Um, but I do, man. I, I genuinely do really like this one. Um I think what threw me off was the initial intro being uh, just having that weird goofy, that goofy instrumental to it. Um, I think I was just like, because every other every other album starts so hard hitting uh, that they put out so far. They just it, every other album starts with like a punch in some way. So it just it was a little bit um, a little bit of a unique start for them. I think both intro and abracadabra actually were just a little bit left field in comparison to how they started previous projects. Um, Abracadabra was still a banger. It still had, you know, some weight to it, but it was a weird beat, man. Like it was, it was a beat that threw me off initially because I j just, uh, the keys, this like they were kind of sparkling. They definitely fit the magic sound. Like they really went all in on the, on the magic theme for this album. Um, because, it's it's everywhere on this album like from the sound that hit boy was going for to the titles of some of the tracks to the concepts of some of the tracks it just it all kind of fits into magic or a lot of it does in some way fits into magic in some way or another and i like that i like that they went full-fledged into the whole magic concept and magic theme uh but abracadabra was it was definitely one that that threw me off like a little bit when i when i first listened to it um Again, just because of how crazy those keys were. And then he had those super bassy electronic synths in there. But then he also had the traditional piano in there. And, like, the way they were just swirling and stuff. I was just like, whoa, this is... It, it was a crazy instrumental for sure. Nas showed up on it. You know, out the gate, you get some good wordplay from him. Um, his rhyme schemes, as always, are insane. Um, his flows, he's constantly switching flows throughout verses. I just... I can't say anything about Nas... That hasn't already been said about Nas, but I'm still going to say it just because he deserves it. Like, I feel like some people, and me included in some people, some people have started to call Nas the GOAT after this run. And I thought Nas was in the GOAT debate prior to this run. Um, I didn't think he was undeniably the GOAT or anything. But with this run that he's currently on, I'm starting to get closer and closer to like, man... Nas, it's hard to argue against, bro. I mean, is there people more commercially successful? Yeah, I mean, Jay-Z is more commercially successful, right? Is there people who maybe have slightly crazier rhyme schemes? Yeah, like an MF Doom might have slightly crazier rhyme schemes. Is there people who execute concepts slightly better? Yeah, like a Kendrick Lamar might execute concepts slightly better. But like Nas is like second on all of those things or like close like he's at least top five in all of those things and I just I, there's like no other rapper that that just checks off every single box like that so I mean this run that Nas is on is super impressive I'm not gonna say he's unquestionably the GOAT but I'm gonna say if you're asking me for my personal opinion I think Nas is the GOAT I think I think I'll put him in the GOAT conversation there's a lot of other names that deservedly so can be countered um to Nas, but I'm gonna go with Nas, man. The intro kicking off with Don Magic Wan, I thought was cool. Again, fits the magic theme because his name is Don Magic Wan. Um and I thought he was super funny. I thought he fit perfect over the just the goofy ass instrumental that was there. Um this this intro really grew on me. Now every time I put on the album I just get a smile on my face. And it's good to put on an album and like have it instantly put a smile on your face have you in, have it instantly make you feel good which honestly i think it's really cool that they had this as the intro because the rest of the album 
for the most part, gets pretty dark. Nas says some pretty dark stick stuff. Nas says some pretty dark stuff. The instrumentals get pretty dark. The song topics get pretty dark at different points. So it is a dark album overall. So I think it's good that they kick it off with this more lighthearted, more goofy kind of uh, intro. And yeah, man, I think it works. I'm official like a referee with a whistle. I make it official like a referee with a whistle. What did he say? Something like that. But yeah, I, I, I love the intro. It immediately puts a smile on my face. I already talked about the beat on Abracadabra, but I, shit, I talked about Nas on Abracadabra too. He just, he is crazy. He did say that flow that he catches um, when he says, spit on my platinum plaques, they probably spit on my grave for real. I spit them like Puff and Mace for real because I got a budget to waste for real. Like that flow is insane. Um, he And another thing he mentioned on Abracadabra, he said, by the time you hear the next one, or by the time you hear this one, we'll be halfway through the next one. So they're, they're not stopping, bro. They're five albums in from 2020 to 2023, and they're not stopping. And I'm not mad at it. I, they can keep dropping if they want to because every album is fire, and every album they're doing something a little bit different. Every album I feel like Hit Boy just levels up as a producer, and every album I feel like Nas just continues to expand on just an already incredible catalog. Like, it really is amazing this album that they're on so i'm glad they're gonna continue making music and continue continue this this producer rapper collab because they've launched themselves into the echelon of of all-time greats like i mean individually they might have already been amongst greats and well they for sure were already amongst greats but as a duo now they've like i mean i th I put them past gangstar at this point i know some some old heads are gonna call me crazy but i would put Nas and hit boy past gangstar at this point I'm trying to think other I would put them past run the jewels personally personally on a personal level I would put them past run the jewels at this point like when it comes to rapper producer combos like they're cementing themselves it, 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 like on another level right now so you got to give them their props man Abracadabra follows up with office hours with a absolutely amazing instrumental this this instrumental did not catch me off guard on my first listen in the way that abracadabra did like from the jump i fucked with this instrumental heavy i love the melody i love the the sample and Nas, i think was amazing on this song um he went he went absolutely crazy just from the jump his chorus the rhyme scheme on that chorus is crazy um and the way he just continues the chorus the same flow from the chorus into the verse and just keeps it going and then the way he switches up the flow like midway through the verse and again the rhyme scheme and everything is crazy i mean Nas does what he does bro and he's always dropping little nuggets of wisdom because you know he's an og at this point um but when he just says call heart in the cold don't get confused or used or let them bother your soul like just little little nuggets like that just like reminding you to be vigilant you know be weary of of people who might try to do wrong by you which is which is a common theme throughout the album um you know he talks about black magic on the very next track actually um you know black magic is a song that's super interesting to me well i love let me just start by saying instrumentally like i love the atmosphere that hit boy created with this song because when you have a song title like black magic you need a, a it's an uncomfortable thing to talk about so you need like uncomfortable strange vibes to the instrumental and i think hit boy really brought that i think he, he really brought that he did a good job and um i love the sample the i think it's Lil grim i love that sample uh it, and and the way it just sounds like it's coming through a vinyl record like it, it, and i love that they used it for the hook i feel like it does a good job of um like the way that they mixed it mixing it as if it's coming through a vinyl record does a good job of like putting the verses in prominence like it makes it more punchier when the verses do come in which i think is really important for a Nas song i think i think the focus for the listener should be on the verses and i think hit boy always does a really good job of making sure that the verses are sticking out more than the hook does um but yeah man this 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 song is 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 super sick to me i love i love the subject matter it's just so vague the way it, the atmosphere of the song in general like like i said hit boy created just such a strange like weird atmosphere for this song and Nas matched it just with his just super vague and strange lyrics like he's talking about black magic and voodoo and people putting hexes on him and his girl having nightmares and then those nightmares coming true 
and him like being warned of things but following into the traps anyway and you know then questioning like it, it gets a little vague at points like you don't know if like the girl he's with or the woman he's with if if he's questioning her and whether she's trying to do black magic on him or if you know, she's questioning him, thinking he's trying to do black magic on him, or if they're questioning each other because somebody else is doing black magic on them and they're worried about somebody else doing black magic on them. It, it's kind of vague where exactly the ba black magic is coming from, but they do a good job of capturing this, capturing this black magic vibe by just having just this super vague, super strange feeling to this overall track. After black magic is where we get to motion, and motion is crazy like the instrumental with the strings and everything it just sounds so like just so big um but it sounds so menacing at the same time like it just so sounds sounds so sinister and menacing like again hit boy just did such a great job of of capturing this dark vibe for this song and it sounds so fast-paced it's definitely an up-tempo especially from magic like like the tempo on this song is cranked way up in comparison to magic or black magic i'm sorry um and Nas matches the energy too, coming with a really faster flow, rapid. It feels like you're in motion. This whole song feels like you're in motion. And it, and it this whole song feels like what the cover art looks like. Man, motion is crazy. Like like Nas's verses on this song are absolutely insane. Like his flow is amazing. At one point he brings up like they need to bring back the headings and and guillotines and stuff and and it's just it, it, it which just matches the dark theme like as this album goes on you get a darker feeling i mean this this is this is a banger of a song like it, I, I absolutely love the instrumental i think it's crazy i think Nas's performance flow wise cadence wise rhyme scheme wise as far as what he's saying and how it matches the overall vibe of the song like i, I this this is one of my favorites for sure this is absolutely one of my favorites for sure and the way he just switches up flows and the way he just switches up rhyme schemes like this whole verse i love that the flesh of vessel i'm not obsessed with death i manifest what's best i'm ghetto tested blessed so crazy bro so crazy motion one of my favorites for sure after motion we get into bokeem woodbine i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to wrap this up i don't want these videos to end up being too long uh the stretch of bokeem woodbine and Irvin magic johnson um Bokeem Woodbine, super weird instrumental with that vocal sample. Nas got the ouch refrain, like where he just says something that like just kind of digs into your ego a little bit, and, and he's just like ouch, and and he ends the song being like it's that good kind of pain, it's it's that helpful kind of pain. The instrumental is crazy. The the sample on it is just super weird and cool and and dark and and just fucking sick. Love Nas with the ouch refrain and everything, and he's just saying stuff that kind of might bring you back to reality a little bit um and again as always rhyme scheme is absolutely insane he references bokeem woodbine multiple times like he references jason's lyric and then he references um he said he said i'm sipping on good wine or i'm bent off good wine like bokeem woodbine like he, he references him multiple times and the ouch thing maybe could be a reference to voodoo too i don't know but this one this one it, it, it's I, I was a little bit lost on how this one fit into magic but the next one Irvin magic johnson which is spelled Irvin magic johnson i think that's a triple entendre so i think it's Irvin magic johnson obviously like the ma like the basketball player um but then it's also Irvin magic johnson because he's a rapper he makes music so it's for your ears but then it's also i think ea because if i'm not mistaken magic johnson invested in ea let me let me fact check that real quick i stand corrected magic it doesn't appear that magic uh invested in ea but it does appear that he invested in another um sports simulation company so anyway i think this beat is crazy with the horns from hit boy i love that Nas says it has the multiple references to wu-tang he's on tour with wu-tang currently i'm actually gonna go see them in october so cool to hear him shout out wu-tang you know shout out ray and ghost can it all be so simple one of my favorite quotes again just a really syllable heavy rhyme right there like Nas is just so good at that the way he switches up the flow right there on then I stood on stages. Australia on occasion. Country club, house of blues, stadium status, hands waving. Hip hop 50 celebration. Funny, we the same agent. Like, it's just, yeah, man. Nas is, Nas is the way he just switches up flows throughout verses is, is incredible. Irvin Magic Johnson, again, another track I really love. Where this album is at its strongest, though, in my opinion, and I know I've spent a lot of time 
talking about the first half of this album, but where this album is at its strongest is is in its closeout in the in the final in the final three tracks, and honestly, plus the bonus track. I absolutely love the bonus track too, but. In the final th- three official tracks, I think are like the three best tracks on the album. I think what this all really means, Slow It Down and Pistols on Your Album Cover, whatever order they go in, I think those are the three, my three favorite tracks on the album. What this all really means, the instrumental is so so beautiful and just so soulful. Like Hit Boy just really did an amazing thing with that instrumental. And the way Nas just tells the stories of past events in his life and how it all comes back around to here and how he now understands what it all really means and whether it was the moments of black magic the moments of bad luck the moments of uh, what all all the good the bad everything everything how it all accumulated to right now just a, a super super well executed song man absolutely love that song i think that's one of the best songs that Nas and hit have done on this run and that's saying something because they've put out a lot of fucking fire on this run um but yeah the, what this all really means amazing slow it down amazing that whole like that whole verse where he like pulls the magic trick he says how oh, you got the card in your pocket i'll pull it out i disappear blah 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 was i too fast for you run it back and slow it down like Nas is a, 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 a slow it down again i, I don't want, i don't want to break down these verses too much because i don't want to spoil stuff but I'm just gonna say if you if you if you listen to this album if you if you put this album on to give it a chance and you listen to maybe the first half of it and you didn't really give the whole thing a chance I'm telling you right now go back and listen to these last three songs listen to what this really what this all really means listen to slow it down hit what hit boy did on slow it down with that instrumental is amazing and what Nas did lyrically on slow it down is absolutely unreal and go listen to pistols on your album cover again just this is Pistols on your album cover to me is one of the best ways that they've ended any of the albums on the, on this run that they've been on. I mean, King's Disease Three ends on um, "Don't Shoot," which is another one of the best ones. I would say those are the two best. I would say that "Pistols on Your Album Cover" and "Don't Shoot." I, w- I would even say "Pistols on Your Album Cover" is even better than "Don't Shoot," in my personal opinion. I think the last three songs official songs on magic two are the three best songs to me and i think if you didn't give the full album a chance make sure you go back and listen to him Nas is just so good at striking nostalgia um he does that super well on the last song uh pistols on your album cover um and i might be reading too much into things but if you look maybe i'm tripping let me see if i can pull this up for you guys man if you look man if you it looks it look in between the two Nas heads and tell me if you see a pistol. Tell me if you see like like a rough a rough figure resembling a pistol in between in between his head. I could be completely tripping. I could be completely tripping, but whatever man. Either way, those last three songs are incredible. And then the bonus track with one one mic, one gun with twenty one savage love that shit bro they were both killing it i love that Nas like didn't i love that he reached out to 21 and was like really just like an og to him like he didn't take what 21 said pers too personally or anything like that song is awesome it's a good bonus track and it's a good victory lap and i think this was an incredible album i think this was the darkest of their of their five album runs so far and i'm 100 percent cool with it i think it's the most unique in left field like this is the one where they tried the most risks of all of them in my opinion i think the instrumental on abracadabra was a bit of a risk i think just the intro like just the sound of that intro and in abracadabra to start the album i think was a risk um i think coming with a more like strange and 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 darker vibe was a, a bit of a risk um yeah man I, I i really like this one i don't know where i would fit it amongst Nas and hit boys other stuff i don't think i like it better than this one i don't think i like it better than that one i do think i like it better than this one maybe i don't know so this one really hits but this one does have a couple songs that i personally skip at times i wouldn't say i skip one i wouldn't say i skip a single song on on this magic 2 album um yeah man i really like it i will say uh real quick 21 savage absolutely killed his feature the 50 cent feature i don't know if i talked about it i think on office hours i just talked about hit boy and Nas. um that was not on purpose but I, so really quick, I just want to say 50 cents verse. It was good. I did like it. I think I knew it was coming because he had been teasing it for so long, but 
it was just too short man like i just i think i ended up forgetting about him while i was talking about the song just because his verse was too short like but it was a good verse um a little queensbridge connection right there so that's cool make sure to like and subscribe i'm gonna do more reviews like this i'm gonna do more music topic videos like this in general we're gonna have different vinyl walls i'm gonna try to flex my vinyl collection a little bit um i don't have a crazy vinyl collection but i feel like i have a pretty solid one so i'm gonna try to f try to flex it off a little bit in these videos um but yeah man make sure to comment below and let me know where does this rank amongst the Nas and hit boy albums in your opinion and where does it rank amongst Nas's catalog in general in your opinion and um also just let me know in general how you felt about the album do you think it's gonna age well i personally think it's gonna age really well um, I think it might end up growing on me like a lot more from this point especially the more i sit with it with Nas, you always just kind of pick up things the more you listen to it and everything um but i'm very satisfied with this album i can't believe this is their fifth album in such a short span of time and it is it is this good it is this well-rounded it is this well um executed um and, and and this unique for them too like they definitely stepped out of their comfort zones in different spots on this album and i think it i think i think it worked in favor of the album in my opinion yeah and let me know it do you guys think Nas is the goat i'll end it i'll end it there too like that's another question answer in the comments do you guys think not that this album in particular makes Nas the goat but do you think just looking back and being like man he's essentially had you know 30 decades of just being considered one of the best rappers ever like from the from illmatic and it was written up to now he's always been considered one of the best rappers ever and that is um super impressive and i in my opinion he's in his third prime i think he even said it on the album in my opinion he is in his third prime like illmatic and it was written was the first prime stillmatic lost tapes godson that three album stretch that was his second prime and now this five album stretch from the king's disease and magic series with hit boy that that's his third prime to me and i yeah man yeah it's 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 absolutely crazy it's absolutely crazy this this run that they are on right now and Nas is is turning 50 in september and is still on an absolutely crazy run as if he's 25 like he has he has in rap at this point in time in my humble opinion he has the best run of the 2020s for rap music and he's he's almost 50 it's crazy and another question to answer in the comments below where do you guys stand on Nas versus Jay maybe you don't think Nas is the GOAT but would you put him over Jay now like has Nas has released Nas has released seven albums since Jay-Z released his last album granted two of those albums are kind of uh, but five of those albums are either really good to really great so like where do you stand on Nas versus Jay let me know in the comments uh, let me know is Nas the goat to you if you think Nas is better than Jay is Nas the goat to you and then also let me know where do you think this album ranks amongst Nas and Hit Boys albums and where do you think it ranks amongst Nas albums in general tell me everything um, I appreciate you guys for checking out this review and I hope if you clicked on this video you're probably a Nas fan I don't see non Nas fans clicking on this video unless you're just such a hater that you're hoping I talk shit about the album um so if you're watching this video, you're probably a Nas fan. I hope you guys appreciate this Nas wall. Um, like I said, not, I'm not going to be able to do this for every artist. So the fact that I got lucky enough to where the album I'm reviewing is an artist that I can do this was pretty cool to me. Hope you all appreciate it. Hope you all appreciate the video. Like it if you like it. Comment. Tell me everything. Subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you all later. Peace.